Good morning. I just did a live in my Facebook community. If you're not a part of that, I highly suggest you join it. I know that's a little, uh, that's a little subjective, but I highly suggest it's a great space. Um, it's in the link in my link tree, the Facebook community, the Spiritual Divinity Collective. Just all about healing, sharing, being vulnerable. It's a private community, so anything that you post in there stays very private. That's why I love it. Um, I, so I just did a live there and I wanted to come on because I haven't done a live on here for a while and I wanted to talk about intuition and how important it is. And in that breeds authenticity, right? Like, look at me, I'm sitting on my couch here this morning. I just rolled out of bed. I'm having a coffee. I am like f morning face all around, but that's what life is about, right? Being you. And if you can't do the, you know, true authenticity, work on it a little bit because that's what the world needs. It needs more authenticity, the world needs you as your authentic beingness. And if it's a mess like I am right now, all the power to you. Just be authentic. Anyway, intuition. Intuition is our guidance system. It is so important to follow our intuition. Um, many of us, I know in the beginning of my path, I, I couldn't discern between what my intuition was and what my ego was. So I remember just searching and searching and searching for things. Good morning, everybody. Nice to have you on here. Things and ways to understand my intuition because I was very ego driven, very logically minded. I'm very um, science minded. So I want to analyze everything. And my mind was very, very busy and I couldn't quiet it. And it would, I had very bad anxiety. I had very bad addictive tendencies. I would be like very self-deprivating, always, you know, getting in my own way. And the best way I can tell you that I started to shift it was just to trust the feelings of my body, the feelings of my mind. Do you ever have those moments where your guidance system comes on? You may not know what it feels like if you're not you know, into your, your gifts. We all have psychic gifts. We're all very intuitive. Do you ever get a pulsating in your forehead? Like up here, it might feel like pressure or things moving or across your forehead. That is your third eye coming on. That is your spidey sense, your intuition, your body's telling you like, listen, there's, there's a sign coming around you. Do you ever get ringing in your ears that come out of nowhere? It's like somebody turns up a radio frequency dial. That is also a sign. Our left side is our receiving side. Our right side is our giving side. So if you're hearing it in a left ear, it means a message is coming for you, whether it's something around you or it's something within you that you will hear or see. It depends what your gifts are. Some people are more clairvoyant than others. Some people, I'm not overly, I don't see a lot. I feel and I know I'm a channel. So I just like, I know things. Um, the right side is the giving side. So maybe it's you have to give a message to somebody. They need a message. But discerning what it is too, right? Do you ever feel tingles in the top of your head? Do you ever feel like it's it's almost like energy moving in? That's your crown opening up. That's that chakra. And you're pulling in energy from source. Because we all do. How do you think we live every day? We're pulling in energy from all around us. I know when I go sit in the sun now, I really feel that it's like a charge in my system. Feel into your body. The more... Are these muscles, like this muscle, our heart, our gut, like the mind, the minds in these areas, they're like a muscle. So the more you exercise and use them, aka trust them and follow them, the, the better they will get, the stronger they will get, the more in tune they will get. So I challenge you, if you're an overthinker, a logical overthinker, today, the next time you have an intuitive pinch, say if you're driving somewhere, but you have like this plan to go somewhere and your body is telling you, nope, go this way. You should not drive this way or maybe go to this store first or go to this store. Follow that. Follow those things. Or if you're out walking and say if you see a certain kind of bird or a flower and you're, or you see a repeating number and your intuition's like, you need to look up what that means. That's a sign. But your logical mind's like, there's no such thing as signs look that up. And the first thing that resonates with you is your answer. Follow that. Exercise the muscle. It's taken me years to really get my intuition online. A lot of deep work, a lot of exercising it, trusting it. It's the trusting and surrendering to it. Another good thing, like our heart and our guts have minds, like they have um, brain cells in them. We're very fine tuned. If you're having a difficult time making a decision, ask yourself a, like a yes or no answer. Ask yourself, is this right? If you feel your heart expand, like open up, it's your heart's telling you yes or your gut. If you feel your heart exp like contract, like you're anxious and it's like it makes you feel not good, 
that's your sign too. It's a no in your gut too. If you feel nauseous and you have no way of explaining it, it's your gut picking up on energy, processing something else. When our nervous system's on high alert, so if you have a lot of stored trauma or you're very emotionally charged, our intuition will have a very hard time coming through because that nervous system sort of overrides it. It's like that flight or fight system. It's the animal brain. It's that we're not processing the energies out of our system properly. So if we're not releasing them, it stores in our nervous system. It stores in our muscular skeletal system. And then we have a really difficult time discerning what is our guidance and what's our past belief and trauma. Um, so as you do the emotional work, the release, emotional releasing, healing, energy healing, acupuncture, any kind of healing, not band-aiding it, not putting a band-aid over the issue, but actually healing and releasing these energies from your system, your guidance will come on stronger and stronger. So the first thing is to practice with it and trust it, surrender to it, follow it. Second is to do the work. So release the trapped energy in your system whatever that means to you. Maybe it's getting into meditation. Maybe it's just exercising more. Movement really helps release energy. If you feel waves of emotion come up, but you have no explanation for them, the next time you feel like you need to cry, please do me a favor. Do yourself a favor and cry. Release it from your system. Crying is a nervous system reset. So in children, when children need to cry, we have to allow them to cry because it resets their nervous system. It allows that energy to flow out. When we're taught to suck it up and deal with it and not feel it, that's what gets trapped. That's why so many of us, like in my age group, I'm 40 and I know people older and younger too. They, we have all this, we had all this trapped trauma because our parents were taught the same way. It's like, don't feel your emotions. Don't feel the emotions. Allow them, sorry, my coffee maker's turning off. It'll be loud. Um, we were taught to go suck it up and deal with, you're fine, you're strong, you're this and that. But we need to teach our children to feel our emotions. We need to teach our inner child to feel our emotions. So if you need to cry today, take a moment and cry. Take it. If you need to just like bang your head on a pillow, like in a safe space, do it. Get it out. Don't hold it in. We have trapped so much in our nervous system from this life and previous lives. We have all this trauma in us that needs to be released. These little children that need to be tended to so that we can align with the highest frequency. We're all tuned into the same frequency, just different radio stations of that frequency. So this is what I said in my other live. When we, so if we're living in a place of fear, guilt, and shame, just think of our frequency, us as like a radio dial. As we do the healing, if we're tuned into that fear, guilt, shame, whatever that collective energy is, we're tuned into that radio station. So that's what we're hearing and seeing all the time. You know, I, I get a lot of clients that say like, all I see is nastiness on Facebook and there's fights all around me. Everybody's trying to fight me. It's because you're tuned into that frequency and that's what you're attracting in. Everything we put out sends out a ripple effect and it attracts that same like frequency back. We're energy beings. We're all connected. So if you want to get out of that, we have to shift the mindset. We have to reprogram the mindset. We need to reprogram the nervous system by releasing so we can attune. This is why attunements are important. We attune our energy, the dial up. So the next frequency might still have a little bit of that residual fear and guilt, but it's not what it was. You won't see the darkness around you all the time. You may see it, but it won't touch you. And then we continue to attune ourselves attune ourselves to higher and higher frequencies with our mind. It's not about escaping the matrix. This is like one of my, uh, this is one of my deep knowings. We're not here to escape the matrix, the 3D. There's a lot of that spirituality going on. I'm not judging it. Everybody's opinion is important to them. It's about anchoring into our physicality, into this 3D beingness, into this matrix, more light. Because as we do that, and we see things from a 30,000 foot perspective, a high vantage point, then we can bring more love and compassion and light in. And when we do that in our being, have that for ourselves, it sends a ripple effect out and others will rise with it. They will attune to our frequency. The more of us that wake up, you know, there's another buzzword, the more of us that see these things for what they are, the more we can bring in, the more healing we can bring in for others. You have no idea how many people you touch with your energy in any given day. Any given day. 
your energy ripples out so far. So keep doing the work. It's worth it. You will find as you level up, your relationships will level up. Things you, This is jumping timelines. If you've ever heard that where people talk about jumping timelines, you will find maybe if you had really difficult relationships for a while with yourself or other people, as you do the work and you begin to have a better relationship with yourself and understand, all of a sudden it's like magic. Relationships that were difficult around you will either fall away completely like magic or they will shift to a higher frequency. So there's my little 101 for today. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Enjoy some coffee. I am. It's rainy here in Calgary. It's beautiful, actually. We really need the rain. Um, I'm going to play some music today. As you can see, my guitars are in the background. I'm going to go play some. some I'm going to get on my electric today. I've jammed tonight. I'm so excited. I love writing music with my, my band. It's so much fun. Um, if you would like to join my Facebook community, the link is in my link tree. Please come. Everybody's welcome. It's a safe place of healing. If you're not a Facebook person, that's fine. If you're interested in working one-on-one -on -one with me, I've added a few more openings for next weekend because my kids are going away. I work a lot around my kids. Um, and just keep an eye open. I have a lot of gifted offerings, like no cost offerings. I give out to the collective groups over Zoom. I do a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. I have the 555 portal, Shift in Consciousness, coming up. Um, we're going to start. It's an eight-week deep dive into healing our trauma, releasing it, allowing ourselves to be alignment with our highest best good. So if you're interested in that, let me know. That's going to be just, it's deep and it's big and it's going to be awesome. It's how I changed my life and from my learning and, you know, my knowledge in psychology and metaphysics and all that. It's melding it all together. So it's, it's going to be so amazing. Thank you, Justin. You have an amazing Saturday as well. And I love you all. And thank you for tuning in and always reach out if you need anything. I love you. Bye.